Hello and welcome. In this video, we will learn how to link VSET 3D and vMix by using NDI. NDI is a video technology developed by the new tech company, which works using IP. In this video, we will learn how to set up an NDI connection from VSET 3D to vMix, set up an NDI connection from vMix to VSET 3D, and set up multi-angle virtual sets while using both VSET 3D and vMix. This setup uses two computers, one for vSIT 3D and one for vMix, both of them connected to the same IP network. In this tutorial, we'll be using pre-recorded videos, but it's the exact same procedure with live camera inputs. All right, here we go. This part of the video shows you how to establish an NDI link from vSET 3D to vMix. Let's start with vSET 3D. Right click to show the main menu. Adjust the frame rate and the resolution in the NDI output section, and then press Start NDI to launch the NDI stream. Now in vMix, press Add Input, select NDI Desktop Capture, click on VSET 3D Main Camera, then press OK to save this setting. Now the VSET 3D Main Camera is ready to be used in your vMix project. VSET 3D comes with three NDI inputs. Now we'll learn how to establish a link between VSET 3D and vMix using one of these inputs. In vMix, select Add Input. Then, in the Video section, browse, select, and add your video. Press OK. The selected video is now available for use in your vMix project. Next step, activate the NDI output dedicated to this video. Click on Setting at the top right corner. For Output 2, assign Input 2 and press NDI On to start an NDI stream. Finally, click OK to save this setting. Now we're going to assign this NDI stream to a screen inside VSET 3D. In the main menu, go to Media Editor and select vMix Output 2 as Source. To show this stream on a screen, double click on the desired screen and select NDI 3 as media. The NDI stream is now perfectly embedded into VSET 3D and can be controlled from vMix. Each video input of VSET 3D comes with a chroma key, but you can also do the keying inside vMix and send it into VSET 3D through NDI. Whatever your preference, VSET 3D allows you to keep all of your normal workflow habits. Let's start by adding a simple green screen video to vMix. Click on Add Input. In the Video section, browse, select, and add video. Press OK to save this setting. Double click on the Input 3 thumbnail to get the chroma key settings and adjust its parameters as needed. The video is now ready to be used. Next step, activate the NDI output dedicated to this video. Press Setting at the top right corner. In Output 3, assign Input 3 and press NDI On to start the NDI stream. Don't forget to select Pre-Multiplied in Alpha Settings and press OK to save. The NDI stream is now active and ready to be used inside VSET 3D as a keyed video. To activate control from vMix, go back to VSET 3D and in the main menu, select Media Editor, choose an NDI input and assign vMix Output 3 as its source. The NDI stream is now perfectly embedded into VSET 3D and can be controlled from vMix. Using only one computer, suitably strong, VSET 3D can generate four NDI outputs, one main camera and three static auxiliary cameras. These four outputs allow you to run a multi-angle virtual set from a single computer. 
The NDI streams are accessible from the NDI output menu. Each of them shows one memory position for the camera. Once an auxiliary NDI stream is started, you can add it inside vMix and switch control as needed. As you can see, VSET 3D can connect with any live production software, giving access to a real-time, multi-camera virtual studio. Thanks for watching, and let us know in the comments if you have any questions. Cheers.